This afternoon, Cuisine 30 comes to you from the outdoors. Actually, we're on the mall out here at Oak Ridge. We're going to tell you and show you something about barbecues and all the hazards that go with it. Now, uh, the calendar tells us that summer's on its way, although it's a little difficult to realize that today. We've had our problems with a few showers of rain and then a little sunshine, just the same kind of problems that you're going to have. But in spite of all that, we're going to have a barbecue. This afternoon, uh, we have uh, simplified as much as we could uh, our barbecuing for two reasons, because uh, when you barbecue, you're outside, you want to be with your friends, and you don't have time to do other things uh, while you're preparing uh, the meal. And uh, to be a uh, true barbecuer, if I so say, we can start in barbecuing one steak. I have here a top round steak, and that weighs around eight ounces. I first season it. My barbecue has been burning now for an hour and a half, and it is already quite hot. When the steak is fully seasoned, then I will brush it with some barbecue sauce on top. Now, to prevent my steak from sticking onto my grill, I have added to my barbecue sauce a little bit of oil. To a four ounce of uh, barbecue sauce, you have two ounce of oil that has been added and then blended. When that is done, you take your steak and put it on your barbecue. You then continue by putting some pepper on the other side and some salt. This done, we will then also brush with barbecue sauce. Be very careful not to have uh, your barbecue sauce going over your grill, otherwise it would start uh, burning and give maybe a better taste. A bit more time, you can also do what I've done here. I've just taken a piece of pineapple onto which I wrapped a piece of bacon and in the center, a skewer. When you put bacon on your broiler, be very careful because it is fat, it may start to burn. So therefore, it's always advantageous to have a little bit of water in a can. And you just quench your fire and take the flame away. I have here a wooden skewer that you can find everywhere, and I use it to retrieve my bacon. We just want it to warm it up a little bit. The steak is done. We will put it on the wooden plank in here. I have here the top of my pineapple that I kept for decorating. I will turn my ham steak on the other side. You see, there is the ham steak, steaming hot. We have our little tidbit that is warm. We can put it on the side here. We'll add the tomato, and with it, when the pepper corn will be cooked, we can add it as an extra vegetable. Naturally, the bacon also, we will put it on top here of our pineapple, and we'll add it to our ham steak. You can see that uh, within 10 to 15 minutes, you have a whole meal that you can serve uh, to your own family or your friends while barbecuing. Well, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, uh, we are out on the mall at Oak Ridge, a store that Woodward's, this big store out here, is famous for its food floor. And when you're visiting in there, you will find charming ladies, like I have here, Mrs. Gill, who is a hostess. Be right service. Be right service. Now, exactly what is that for the benefit of our uh, viewers? Well, it's really a consulting service for our food floor shoppers. If you have problems or require help, your choice of foods or recipes or party planning. If, in other words, if the men come in, or like I come in with a long list, uh, just go to you and you'll solve all our problems. We'll sure try, sir. Well, now we are seeing a delicious assortment of foods being prepared here, some but very economical and maybe some a little on the glamorous side. Um, can they get glamorous recipes or glamorous type food, fresh pineapples or things like that, every day in the year? You certainly can, 52 weeks of the year. With air travel the way it is, you don't have to do without a thing. Mm -hmm. You just make up any menu you want, either to stretch the budget or to blow it all at one time, and uh, that's yes, no problem. Quite right. Well, thank you very much for telling us something about 
uh, services available on the food floor. Well now, as we mentioned, the barbecues are the main item on the program today, so let's go back with John Lindenlob and cooking on outdoor barbecues. Now, to go back to what the uh, children like, I have here some frankfurters. Sometime the youngest in the family can't wait, so you can put on your brawler a few frankfurters and put on it uh, to speak as I did uh, so that you can turn them around. Also here, the now world famous hamburger. We will put a few. And this, as you know, can be served as well to adult too. A little barbecue sauce. They have been seasoned when I made them myself. And uh, we will put one bun in here and warm the bun. The bun has been toasted. You will have to have a little bit of relish. As you can see, the butter starts to burn, so we're going to retrieve it. And Good afternoon. 